Hi there, I'm Dr. Debbie, and I don't know of anyone on the face of this earth that has greater desire to have a successful relationship than a woman. Women work really, really hard in the process. We try over and over again to find the level of connection to support our husbands and our children in ways that help them grow. But the problem is, we don't always know the best approach. We don't always have the right answers, in part because we don't always listen enough and can't always see things from the other person's perspective. We see things from the perspective of a woman, of a wife, of a mother. If you want to learn something new about him, you'll need to pay close attention to what he says and what he does. He's always communicating something important about who he is and what he wants. When you listen to learn instead of listening to respond, you'll discover there's more data there than you realized. Pay attention and make notes of the topics and the patterns, like you're conducting a science experiment. In most cases, you won't learn much about him by asking him to engage in a conversation. Remember, men use language to share information. Women, on the other hand, use language to create connection. But that's not how it works for him. If he has something to say, he will say it provided he has the space to do so. However, a woman can't force a man to talk. If you ask a man what he's thinking when he's sitting quietly, he'll most often say he's not thinking about anything. I used to believe that wasn't humanly possible. But after lots of years of counseling as a psychologist with men, I realized they all have the ability to think about nothing. It's one of the ways that their brains and their systems reset from an especially stressful day or a stressful period of time. They have the ability to turn it all off and chill. Sometimes they zone in front of the TV. My best friend and I used to talk about the expressions our husbands and our sons would get on their faces when they're sitting in front of the TV. Their mouths would be slightly open and they'd just be staring. Not Completely unlike that scene in Forrest Gump of Forrest and his son watching television. They both had the same expression. And they both turned their heads slightly sideways in the same direction. A humorous scene. But men really can decompress and relax and chill out like that on a regular basis. Now, if you don't know that, you may start to project your own feelings into his behavior. Then you start thinking, he's stonewalling. He's shutting me out. He's not talking to me. Something's wrong. Then you'll start to imagine what he might be thinking. Most of the time, you are so far off base, it's not even funny. And going off base like that can really get you into a world of trouble because you start to see him differently. You start to think he sees you differently than he really does. When the truth is, he might just be relaxing, just trying to chill out, trying to decompress from daily stress. Has any of this ever happened to you? Let me know in the comments below. You'll discover you're not alone in this.